Hi everybody, it's Scott the Amateur Angler here and I wanted to give you an example of some of the safety equipment equipment that I take when I go on my flying adventures and I'm actually heading up on one tomorrow so this is pretty timely. Uh, in no particular order. First off is I've got an inflatable life vest and the reason that I choose an inflatable life vest is because a number of the PFDs that people take, they end up using them as a seat cushion. I take the inflatable ones because they're light and they're comfortable and I'll actually wear them the entire time that I'm fishing. Then if I was to fall overboard or become ill, I know that I'm protected. Next one I have here is, and you've probably all got one, a Swiss Army knife. And I can't tell you the number of times, whether it was the knife or the tweezers uh, or the toothpick, something came in handy with one of these. They are invaluable to have in the boat. I also carry with me a, uh, a flint. And so in this particular one is a one-handed flint where I can push down with one plunge and get full sparks, which allows me to set up fires, whether that's for your shore lunch or for your campfire, whether it's for the hot stove, or if you need one in an emergency. Along with that, I take a good quality unite, uh, utility knife. In this particular case, the knife is uh, it's super sharp, it's super strong, but it also does come with a flint in the back half of it as well. So that's a bit of a bonus, but you can never have too many good quality knives. And you see this is a pretty sunny, hot day here, so believe it or not, someone's building their deck right now. Um, sunscreen. And some of you might say, Scott, why would you recommend sunscreen as a safety equipment? And uh, I was on a trip last year in northern Ontario in May when the normal temperatures are in the mid-teens. And in the previous year, someone at that exact same camp in the exact same time period um, didn't have sunscreen and they uh, had two or three days in a row of 30 plus weather, no sunscreen and they had to be sent home early to go to the hospital because they didn't have proper sun protection. Next thing I have here is a map of the lake that I'm going to and a compass. And some of those bodies of waters are huge and you can get turned around in a big hurry when you're navigating around islands or going up rivers. And if you can just get yourself oriented with a map and a compass, you'll be able to find your way home. Another thing I bring, of course, is a first aid kit. And what's special about this one is because I go boating and because I'm on a fishing trip, this is a waterproof uh, packaging. So in the event that we are in the water, we don't have to worry about the contents getting damaged. Uh, two last things I want to show you. This is an Eaton um, emergency radio. So this runs both AM, FM radio stations, but also picks up emergency weather stations. It can be charged based on solar. It can also be charged with a plug. I can also run um, a battery off this, so I can charge a self-contained battery. And I can also use it as a charging device. So I can actually plug in, say, a phone or a camera or emergency device, and I can charge to give it a channel. And then it also comes with a built-in flashlight. So a really handy tool. I picked that up at Lee Valley. And the last one that I want to show you is my uh, DeLorme InReach SE. And this is a satellite communication device. So this gives me um, both SOS capability through an SOS button, where if I have an emergency, it'll automatically communicate with first responders, send my GPS coordinates. But it also has two-way text, which means I can text people and they can also text me back. It comes also with an app that I can interface it with my iPhone uh, or Android device so I can have the easier use of typing. And what they just released recently, which I'm really excited about, is a new weather interface, which means each day I can get an up-to-date current weather report for the geographic location that I am going to be in so I know exactly what to expect. So you want to have fun out on your fishing or your camping, hiking, boating, snow building, whatever you want to do, you have, want to have fun. But it's not fun if you're running into any trouble and you're not prepared. So spend a little bit of time Give a look at some uh, safety equipment. This is just some of the stuff that I bring. And if you read the blog post for this video is found, you'll see lots of other suggestions out there. And if you've got some tips for me, I'd love to hear them. Hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for reading and watching The Amateur Angler.